Sale.com. Today, most of the automotive talk centers around two topics, high technology and fuel economy. And today's Civic Hybrid is a class leader in both. Hi, Chris Kelly here for Vehicles Test. And today, we're going to take the hybrid out for a test drive and see how she stacks up. The Civic Hybrid is a specially modified version of the Civic Sedan. And it comes in two trim levels, hybrid or hybrid with leather. In both cases, the Integrated Motor Assist, or IMA system, is the same. The IMA matches a 1.5-liter iVTEC four-cylinder gas engine with an electric motor that's mounted between the engine and transmission. At low speeds, the electric motor moves the car almost silently and uses zero fuel when it's running alone. But when it's time to kick up the speed, that gas engine kicks in and the Civic Hybrid takes off. The combined power for the electric motor and engine is 110 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, and it creates 127 pound-feet of torque at 1,000 to 3,500 RPM. And for ultra-smooth shifting, Honda's continuously variable transmission is standard equipment. The Civic Hybrid has an EPA-estimated fuel economy of 44 miles per gallon for both city and highway driving, and that's a true testament to the value of a hybrid drivetrain that it gets the same fuel economy around town as it does on the interstate. In contrast, the traditional gas version of the Civic Sedan is rated at 27 miles per gallon city, 36 highway, and 30 combined with a 185 horsepower four-cylinder engine. During our road test, we put the hybrid through a series of performance tests. It went from 0 to 60 in 12.7 seconds, had a 50 to 70 mile an hour passing time of 7.2 seconds, and ran the quarter mile in 19.5 seconds, doing 74.2 miles an hour at the end. Okay, we're doing our zero to 60 test. There's 20 mine, 35, 40, 48, 50. All right, so now it's time for our live drive analysis of the IMA system here on the Civic Hybrid. I turn the car on and you can see right away the gas motor starts and you can see we're pouring uh, a little bit of fuel into the car icon. Now I'm um, putting my foot on the gas and you can see you've got power coming in both from the gas engine and the electric motor. They're both working together to power the car. Now right here I'm going to take my foot off the gas and watch what happens. The arrow going to the battery turns green and it points towards the battery which means we're charging the battery so each time I put my foot on the gas you can see the gasoline going into the car when I take my foot off the gas or I brake the arrow turns green and that's power going back into the battery all right the Civic Hybrid also has a great feature called lane departure warning and there's a system that's tracking the dotted lines on the highway here so if I drift out of my lane without signaling and I'll go over to the right you can see it come up right there, lane departure. So this is great to prevent uh, a sleepy driver from moving over into the other lane or if you're just not paying attention, it's great. It, it, it alerts you when you're leaving your lane without signaling. Now from here on out, other than the hybrid badging on the trunk, the hybrid has the same aggressive exterior styling as the sedan, from its redesigned front grille and aerodynamic profile to its taillights that blend smoothly into our aft lines and trunk. So now that we've seen how the hybrid sedan performs, let's take a closer look at the rest of this package. The hybrid has seating for five, including two adults and a child in the rear. And the leather edition gets heated front seats, reclining front seat backs, and adjustable head restraints as standard equipment. Up on the dash, the Civic offers a digital speedometer in the center on the top row, flanked by Honda's Eco Assist blue and green bars that help you monitor fuel efficiency. Okay, now we're going to check out the Eco Assist system. As you can see here, there's two green bars. I'm stopped at a light. And when I apply the power, you'll see the gauge here showing fuel going in, the electric motors going in. And look at the colors. They're changing from green. And when I really pour on the power, it'll go to blue. Okay, and that shows me I'm getting my least favorable fuel economy. The steering wheel has mounted controls to the left and right of center to operate the iMID, cruise control, and Bluetooth without taking your hands off the wheel. Another standard feature is a single angle rear view camera while navigation equipped models offer three camera angles to choose from. A 180 degree wide view, 130 degree normal view, and overhead view of the rear bumper. 
Other standard interior features include a USB audio interface under the center console and Bluetooth hands-free link. The Civic's Advanced Compatibility Engineering 2 body structure is a Honda exclusive body design that enhances occupant protection and crash compatibility in frontal collisions. The ACE design utilizes a network of connected structural elements to distribute crash energy more evenly throughout the front of the vehicle. So given the fact that the Civic Hybrid gets respectable performance, combined with the EPA estimated fuel economy of 44 miles per gallon city or highway, maybe it's time for you to start thinking about what the fuel savings of a hybrid will do to your family budget.